actually doing this video today because we've been asked to do a quick overview of our new Grand Design Reflection. It is the 312 BHTS. And as you can see, it's got the insulation package, which is um, heated tanks and things like that. And of course the heated underbelly. I'm not sure how well this is going to come out due to the camera I'm using, but we'll take a step inside. When you first enter, as you can see here, you got your restroom. It's one bath. Excuse me while I get in here. Got your commode, nice shower with a glass door. Of course, it's got a fan. Also has that light there is a motion sensor light, which they have in a few other spots. Nice stainless steel sink, plenty of storage, medicine cabinet, even another storage cabinet over here. And then when you go off to the left, you go into the main living area. You got your little eating nook. Then you have two reclining chairs. They have heat and massage and nice little LED lights underneath that looks nice at night. Storage cabinet. Right here, I really wish we would have had three drawers and maybe three smaller cabinets or all drawers. We don't have enough drawer space. I'd rather have drawer space. It's the bunkhouse over there. Then here's your TV. More cabinets, nice fireplace with your stereo over top, kitchen island, they call these solid surface countertops. Um, they're not marble, but they definitely are kind of comparable as far as style. Nice big deep sink with a, you know, a, a shower head kind of thing on it. Of course more storage got your cooktop and your oven sorry I'm cooking lunch for my kids but got a microwave which is also a convection microwave so you can use it as an oven and then two big or one big double door Dometic fridge freezer combo and another little hutch has all your controls inside there more storage, a couple drawers down there. Got your Max Air fan control, some USB ports underneath there, and nice accent lighting throughout. Got a couple little accent lights up there, and a little bit of different style lights over above there. And then when we go into the bunkhouse, got a sliding door. Got a few drawers, t television, a bunk up top here, an armoire with that same light if you want to turn it on inside there so when you open the door the light comes on. Some storage to the left. Another bunk that goes up as you can see it's up right now. So you can sit on the fold out love seat. This is actually the same one we had in our last camper. It folds out, not necessarily that comfortable to sleep on, but another sleeping area there. And of course that's a slide out. To the left here is a slide out with where all your appliances are, and then to the right over here is also a slide out. And in the back, or actually my fault, the front of the RV is our bedroom. Where the happy campers sleep. Full queen. Of course, storage underneath with, with uh, you know, a uh, helper. So it'll stay up if needed. And then you got a couple armoires on each side. Of course, storage up above. Some shelves there with reading lights and plugs. And then... Over here, a little like armoire with a couple drawers. And behind here, it can either be storage, as you can see, 
you can hang it, use it as an armoire. Excuse the mess, but it also could be a washer dryer. It is set up and ready to take a washer dryer combo. So that's the inside. Um, spots for TVs in here also. And then you have your separate heating and air back here. And then the rest of the trailer has its own heating and air. Here's your outdoor kitchen. Got a microwave, pretty large fridge. And then underneath, of course, a cooktop. And then there is propane connection under there also. So under the front storage area, it's where all your hookups are. Well, I say all, but your cable and your water and your outside what they call an outside shower, I'd call it more of a spigot, but it does have hot water. You have a secondary gray tank for your washer and dryer. Of course, it's 50 amp. It has the detachable hose. So you got, of course, a hitch in the back. And it's got power stabilization jacks. Hello YouTube, it's Buddy and Madison of First Time RVers. Hope you enjoyed the video of the quick tour of our new RV. We're just going to quickly run down a few things on our cheat sheet here. What we liked and, and what we like and don't like so far. We've done about five trips now, so we've gotten kind of gotten a feel for it. So we really love the layout with the bathroom right there inside the main door. Makes it kind of nice for, you know, outdoor access. Um, the recliners for the reasons we mentioned before size of the fridge. We love, I mean, you can fit everything in there week or more easily. We love the outdoor kitchen. We love the outdoor kitchen on our last one. We do use that a lot. It's great that it has the option to put a washer and dryer in it at some point, which we do plan on doing. The hitch jack has its own power supply. So if your house battery is dead or you have, you have it turned off, the hitch jack, the power jack will still work. So I love that. Love the storage in the, throughout the camper, we love the amount of storage, but in the bedrooms, we love the fact that there's plenty of room to put clothes. And we love the fact that you can have TVs in four different loca locations, including outside. And Madison wanted to talk quickly about what she, she likes about the fireplace. Fireplace is very warm and you can turn it up to like 85. Yeah, and it actually heats up that whole room. I mean, if if it's 50 degrees outside, you can easily provide heat just using that fireplace. So a few things we don't like. I've decided I don't like the booth. This is our second RV with a booth. I thought when I would see the table and chairs in RVs, I thought that I don't like that. I don't like the idea of those chairs having to be tied down and I just didn't like that. But now that I'm on my second booth, I think I may like having a table and chairs. I love the fact that we have four TVs, but I have to split them myself. So I had to get a four-way splitter. Then I also got a plug-in amplifier because the signal was breaking down, so the picture was fuzzy. Then you have two separate. You have cable and you have satellite hookups. Well, they're not labeled correctly. So in the bunkhouse, I have to hook it into satellite, and then outside it says cable, but inside the bunkhouse it says satellite. Wait, is that why like there's two different things like on our TVs? Yeah. I don't like that the thermostat is above the furnace. In a home, you put the thermostat above the return, and that's supposed to give you the most accurate reading of the temperature in the house. But in, in the RV... The return is right by the furnace, so the furnace heats up, and you don't get an accurate reading on the thermostat. So it may say 75, but it's actually maybe only 70 in the trailer on the other end of the uh, living room. I don't like the slide on the passenger side, on the door side of the RV. It takes up about half of your like outdoor living space. The awning is right over top of it, so probably about 30 40% of the awning coverage is covering the uh, bump out, the slide out. So I don't like that. 
mention more drawers in the kitchen. That would be great. Um, the heat in the bunkhouse, one small register. So it's cold in the bunkhouse. Because the vent is right by the door, so it'll just seep right under. You have to leave the door open in the bunkhouse in order to get decent heat in there if it's pretty cold out. So I may try to figure out maybe cutting off one of the registers in the family room or something. See if that helps. Fit and finish issues in the kitchen. They put a hinge on one of the doors, but they put the screw right into a butt joint on the framing. So it basically just stripped right out. So I had to fix that. Then there were staples in the slide where the carpet is on the slide in the bunkhouse. They must have stapled down the carpet. And in the recliners. And they shot back out. Is it there too? Yeah, because mom stepped right in. Oh, okay. So I didn't even know that. But even so, on the other slide in the family room where they put that carpet down, they must be shooting some staples in through the carpet into the wood floor. And some of them are, are backing up, you know, are, are redirecting back out. So those are a couple fit and finish issues. There were some trim pieces that fell off that I had to put back on. But other than that, we really love the RV so far. I don't always like pulling it, but hey, that's a whole other story. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and do what after you subscribe? Like and the turn on the not notifications. Turn on the notifications. That way you'll get all of our latest videos. Share with your friends. Comment. We love reading the comments. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see. But thanks again for watching, everybody. Happy RVing. Bye-bye.